Uh, the original script I was given had Jonathan gives a few closing remarks. Um, so I immediately sat down and started typing out page after page, and I think I got to about page 13 just the other night before I realized that we have some college basketball to watch this evening. So I tore all of that up, and, and I, I won't go any further, but I, I do want to say I've, I've done a lot of thanking here on behalf of the chamber, but I would like to say uh, from, from me individually, uh, thank you, particularly to our chamber staff, Teresa, Megan, Pam, Angie, uh, Pam, and Susan. Um, could we give those folks a round of applause, please? Um, our, our technical incoming president this evening will be delighted to hear that those folks make this job of being president very, very easy. So thank you again for those folks. Um, I'd also just like to thank the chamber membership, uh, getting out and about the last year, uh, being able to meet some of you and, and get to know some others a little bit better uh, has been reinvigorating for me, even in the tough year plus that we have all had, but particularly in our region. Uh, it has been my pleasure to serve as your president. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. At this time, I am, I am very pleased to introduce our 2022 Chamber Board President, Dr. John Renoni. While he makes his way up here, I need to tell you all about Dr. Renoni. Dr. John Renoni became the fourth president of Dabney S. Lancaster Community College in 2013. He's dedicated more than 30 years to higher education in a variety of teaching, administration, and leadership roles. Dr. Renoni is passionate about student success, entrepreneurial fundraising, community colleges, rural development, and nonprofit management. Active in numerous local community activities, as well as on national boards and commissions, Dr. Renoni was named Entrepreneurial President of the Year by the National Association for Community College Entrepreneurship in 2021. Dr. Renoni is married to his wife, Laura, and they live in Clifton Forge. They have one daughter, Julianne, who lives in Daleville with her husband, Drew. And with all of those accomplishments, the best is for last. They will be expecting their first grandchild in June. So without further ado, I have a gavel here that I've been waiting all evening to pass to Dr. Renoni. Thank you very much. Wait a minute. Look. We're good. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. And don't go anywhere. Because now I have to pull up my script. <laughs> so, Jonathan, tough act to follow. And I'm really so glad I got to know you better this past year. So on behalf of the Board of Directors and the entire Allegheny Highlands community, we thank you for your service and dedication to the Chamber. One of my favorite quotes is, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. You have certainly showed us the way, and everyone should be thankful for your leadership, not only to the Chamber, but to the entire Allegheny Highlands community. Thank you very much. And thank you for leaving my 45 minutes for my, for my speech. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm on. I'm only kidding. I heard some boos. <laughs> it is really an honor to serve at, uh, as the 2022 Chamber President. As you know, the Chamber has been our leading advocate for business and community since 1906. It doesn't matter what your industry is or what, what your business or what business you're in, support is key. Support like like-minded people can, can help you find success. There are many resources that we all tap into 
and the Chamber is our local resource. The Chamber is the first responders for the business community. It is what we do day in and day out. And especially during the past two years, this became more evident with funding support for small business. I hope you will continue to see the Chamber as a key member of the community to provide networking, educational, and collaboration opportunities to strengthen our community. I hope you can also see the Chamber as a catalyst to bring visitors and future residents to our community. The new program, Work Remotely, Live Uniquely, has already been off to a smashing start. These roles strengthen local business, our school system, and of course, the sales tax base and lodging revenue. Our focus is on creating an economy that supports our neighbors and is strong enough for our kids to graduate and return home with a steady career ahead of them. I would like to thank, a special thanks also to the staff of the Chamber for all their terrific work and let's give them another round of applause. I hope you enjoy this evening and to my fellow board members, thank you for your support and to all of you, our fellow board members are here to help you and work with you over the coming year. Thank you. I have a couple of housekeeping things. First of all, I would like to thank the Flower Center for providing the floral arrangements this evening. I'd like to once again thank you, the Omni Homestead, for making our annual dinner meeting such a terrific event. Thank you to Harold Carpenter for serving as our DJ this evening. Go over there. And the last and most important thing is to make sure that you keep your tickets because there will be door prizes throughout the evening. And with that, we will turn it over to Harold. And thank you very much.